Hi guys, happy Wednesday and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great hump day. Today we are doing something a little bit different. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I have been struggling with what kind of content I've been wanting to make on YouTube. Reseller content can get very boring and just like I'm going through the motions. I'm doing the same thing all the time and I wanna switch it up a little bit. Yes, I originally started this YouTube channel as you know a way to teach other resellers how to resell and I know a lot of my subscribers are resellers but I know there are some of you who are not resellers at all. I would like to expand my audience internationally. <laughs> really, I only make Poshmark content and Poshmark is only you know, in the States. So it doesn't really apply to others. So they have no need to watch my videos. Yes, I am a reseller, but I have dropped down to part-time reselling. I'm doing graphic design pretty much full-time. And um, there's more to me than reselling. I've always wanted to make content on YouTube, but I just never took the chance. And now that I've kind of gotten into it, I'm like, okay, maybe I want to make some other content. Maybe I want to talk about some other topics. Maybe we can make some different kinds of videos. So this is a trial run we'll see how it goes at the end of the day I'm gonna do what makes me happy I'm gonna make the content that makes me happy I don't want to make content that is boring to me or you know seems just like mundane and like I'm going through the motions you guys have been very encouraging and telling me to just do whatever my heart desires do whatever is gonna make me happy and people will follow if they want to I know there are some people who you know subscribe to my channel or follow me on Instagram solely for reselling content and if I'm not doing as much of that, I know that, you know, they'll go, they'll go, and that's fine. The people who actually care and are here for me or, you know, stuck around for my personality will stay and new people will come along as well. So um, I'm gonna let go of those fears and anxieties and we're gonna try some new things on this channel. I have other interests, obviously, other than reselling. I'm a very creative person and I just wanna create content that's meaningful. So to start off this change train, I thought I would do a get to know me video. I've done one of these in the past. I think my first video was like a get to know me video, but it was, I think it was only 10 fun facts about myself and I did like a haul with it. I'm going to give you guys real quick 50 fun facts about myself. The last five are would you rathers because I thought we would throw a little bonus Jonas in there. I love to hear people's answers to would you rathers. So let's get started. All right, fact number one, my favorite animal is the raccoon. I love raccoons, little trash pandas, their hands. In reference to friends, I always get compared to Phoebe, but I'm a lot more like Monica than I care to admit. I'm a 25 year old woman and I still watch Disney Channel. My go-to drink, like Miss Carrie Bradshaw, is in fact the Cosmopolitan. I don't like dessert. <laughs> So I'm gonna get a lot of hate for that. I just don't like sweets. I am so much more a savory person. My favorite genre of music is secretly country. My favorite snack is jalapeno Cheetos. I am 100% a night owl. I love all things paranormal, ghost hunter, twisted, scary, gory, but it's very hard to genuinely scare me. I'm the youngest of five kids. I cannot, for the life of me, figure out how to whistle. How do you whistle? I don't. Aww. Can't whistle. I am an empath. Most of you already know I have a dog named Scooby, but what you don't know is he is actually a German Shepherd, Border Collie, Black Lab mix. That is what he is. A lot of people ask that question. And that's what he is. The trio of the most hyper crazy dogs <laughs> all wrapped into one. Then he's a hot mess. My top five celebrity crushes at the moment because they do change monthly. Number one, Harry Styles. Duh. Number two, Charlie Puth. Love him. His mind oh, is beautiful. Mwah. Love him. Number three, you may not know who he is. His name is Cody Fern and he plays the Antichrist in American Horror Story season eight, season nine. What did I just watch? Apocalypse. This is him for reference. He's, he's beautiful. He's just gorgeous. Number four, Anna Kendrick. I just, 
I don't have any words. She's so funny. She's beautiful. She's talented. She's quirky. She's tiny and I want to put her in my pocket. I love, I'm obsessed with Anna Kendrick. And number five is kind of off the beaten path compared to the rest, but Paul Rudd. I think he's funny. I am a sucker for funny men. Also a little bonus Jonas, Jake Johnson from New Girl. He plays Nick Miller. He's also in the movie Tag. He's just hilarious. I know he's not everyone's cup of tea look wise, but I think he's cute and uh, he's funny as hell. So that just goes to show that humor is better than looks. Number 15, I can't take a shower without singing. It's like the try not to sing challenge. I just can't help it. I burst into song. Sometimes I do musicals and it's fine. We all do it, admit it. My favorite movie genre is romantic comedies. I regret my tattoos sometimes. I said it. Yes, every old woman who's come up to me in a grocery store, I do regret my tattoos. Sometimes, not all the time. I am in fact an organ donor, but I'm terrified of death. I don't believe in soulmates. My first crush that I can remember was Jesse McCartney and Joe Jonas. Are we seeing a theme here? My zodiac sign is, you guessed it, a Pisces. My favorite food is pasta, all pasta. I love to cook. It wasn't always that way, but I have found a love for it. And the more kitchen gadgets I get, the more crazy my obsession becomes. I've also been watching a lot of Anthony Porofsky from Queer Eye, who is also another celebrity crush. <laughs> I could fall in love with a rock, basically. He has got, sparked my interest in cooking. And of course, I always have to have a glass of wine with me. This is not a part of the fun facts, but I prefer, I get asked this all the time. I prefer white wine over red wine. I think red wine tastes like vinegar. I get sucked into conspiracy theories very easily. And I believe most of them. My favorite holiday has always been Halloween, but the older I get, the more appreciation I have for Christmas. Since being with Joe and his family is a Hallmark Christmas movie watching family, I've been sucked into that as well. Can't get enough of Christmas. So maybe in the near future, my new favorite holiday will be Christmas. I love Halloween though. We, we stand, we still stand. We stand Halloween. Don't come for me. I'm actually a really good singer, not to toot my own horn, but I'm too shy to pursue that career. Joe and I can both quote, probably every line from Jim Carrey's The Grinch, and we do so on a daily basis. If I could speak any language other than English fluently, it would be French, but I'm finding it very difficult to learn. Speaking of languages, I took German in high school instead of Spanish. It's not a language that I can speak fluently by any means, but when Pitch Perfect 2 came out with DOS Sound Machine, I was in my zone, I can understand pretty much everything they were saying. I am a stomach sleeper. And most of the time I sleep under my pillow instead of on my pillow. So I like to be completely flat on the bed, nothing raising my neck, just like this completely. And usually the pillow is on top of my head. It's odd. When I was a kid, I wanted to be multiple things when I grew up and they ranged anywhere from dolphin trainer to teacher to singer. And I hate water, so dolphin trainer's out. I would love to actually be a teacher, but unfortunately they don't really get paid enough. And the singing thing, well, like I said, I'm too terrified to sing in front of people. My first car was a 1992 Honda Accord and I drove it until it wouldn't drive anymore. One thing I wish I was better at is saving money. I am terrible at golf, but oddly amazing at putt-putt or mini golf. I also get super competitive. There are two things that I would never do. Like if somebody said, die or do this thing, just kill me. I would never do these two things. And that is skydiving, deep sea diving. Two of my largest fears, up in the air, airplanes, jumping, heights, all that. And the sea, the ocean, drowning, sea creatures, both. I like a middle ground, you know? I like to be here, on the ground, safe. Am I safe? Who knows? but I feel safe. My favorite color is sage green, which is having a moment right now and I couldn't be happier. 
I'm the type of person who will wait for a TV series to come out on Netflix so I can binge it all in one day. I'm originally from Georgia, but I've been in Florida for six years. A very underrated TV show, in my opinion, is The Ranch with Ashton Kutcher. And I think that not only because it's a good show, but half the cast of that 70s show is in it, which I'm totally here for. My biggest pet peeve is inconsiderate people. So I live in the perfect state. If I could give my younger self one piece of advice, it would be to stop chasing people. Whether it be friendships, relationships, family. If they wanna go, let them go, sis. If I could live anywhere in the United States, it would probably be Colorado. If I could live anywhere in the world, it would be either Scotland or Ireland or maybe even like England. I'm fascinated with Europe for some reason. <laughs> My number one superpower choice would probably be invisibility. If you've seen pretty much any one of my videos, you know that I cry over everything. I cried over a jack-o'-lantern once. I cry over the dumbest things too. Like it's not even things that are like sad, it's things that are like cute or happy. It could just be a cloud shaped like a bunny and I'd start crying. Once again, I'm a Pisces. Nice to meet you. I am not a cat or dog person. I love all things fussy, like goats, horses, alpacas, bunnies, raccoons. I'd pet a bear if I knew it wouldn't eat me. All right, and the last five facts are not really facts. I'm just gonna answer these would you rather questions because I think they offer up facts. Like the answers show something about me. Number one is, would you rather aliens be robotic or organic, like human beings? And the answer to that for me is, I would so much rather them be organic, like almost like human-like, as opposed to robots. Robots scare me. Like tech, not, this comes into like the, the conspiracy part of my brain. Robots terrify me, technology scares me. Like even the new iPhone is like, when iPhone came out with face recognition, I'm like, no, thank you. No, absolutely not. These smart fridges, Alexa. Have you ever heard Alexa laugh? Look it up, Google it, YouTube it. Just type in Alexa laughing. You're welcome. It's nightmare fuel, it's Terrifying, she shouldn't be laughing. Would you rather always be 10 minutes late or 20 minutes early? The answer for me is I would so much rather be 20 minutes early. And usually in real life, I am always 20 minutes early. I hate being late. I hate feeling rushed. It puts me in a panic and makes me crazy. I forget things. So I am always early. If the other person is late, that's cool. It has nothing to do with other people or me just wanting to be punctual. It's for my own sanity. Would you rather know the history of every object that you touch or be able to talk to animals? This is a hard one for me. I think it would be cool to know the history of everything I touched, but then again, I don't know that I want to know all that. So I'm going to go with the animal one. Even though it would be cool, there are certain things where I'm like, I don't know that I want to know the history. Like I think it would scare me more than it would be intriguing. So I'm going to go with the animal one and just like talk to animals. I would love to hear what Scooby's voice sounds like. Like if he were a human or he could talk, what would it sound like? Does anyone think that about their pets? Do you rather have a sailboat for a house or an RV for a house? For me, I hate the ocean, don't want to drown. Storms are going to be problematic in a sailboat. So I'm taking that RV, sis. Thank you. I would actually love to live in an RV. If we didn't have a dog, I would be so down for living in an RV. Love camping, love traveling on the road. So RV is no problem for me. And last but not least, would you rather only be able to use a fork for the rest of your life or only be able to use a spoon? <laughs> this one's hard. And I feel like most people would say fork, but for me, I think I would much rather use a spoon because I am such like a huge soup person. I love soup. Even if it's like 98 degrees outside, I will eat soup. So like, that's the only thing where like a fork is problematic. Like you, there's no way you can eat soup with a fork. 
No way. I mean, you could turn it around and you could, like, use the, like, handle as, like, a scooping mechanism. <sighs> That's hard. Now that I'm thinking about it. Spoon. Final answer. Alrighty, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I enjoyed making it for you. It was good to just, like, kind of be myself and, like, make a video that I actually enjoy and have, you know, have fun with. It would be awesome if you guys want to answer the would you rather questions there at the end. That would be hilarious. I would love to see everybody's answers and why they would choose one or the other. Also, if you wanna leave a random fact about yourself down in the comments below, feel free because I would love to hear that as well and get to know you guys. I know I already asked the Instagram family this and you guys gave me your ideas and your thoughts and opinions and I really, really appreciate it. I do wanna include the YouTube family here. So if there are videos or types of content that you would like to see, please let me know down in the comments below. Thank you guys for being so supportive and letting me do what makes me happy. I really appreciate you guys. You are all diamonds and I love you so much. Thanks for tuning in. If you like this video, please be sure and give it a thumbs up on your way out. And if you don't want to miss out on the new content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join our family. We would love to have you. I put new videos out every Wednesday and Friday and I will see you guys on Friday. Bye guys.